So if you've been following on the community page, community tab, you'll know that we've been doing a contest on there. We're gonna take Lenny to the scales either tomorrow or Tuesday and get him weighed. And whoever gets the closest to the, what he actually weighs is gonna win a sticker, a bus grease monkey, monkey sticker. Um, there is some information. Uh, you can see what he weighed the last time. That, that video is available on our YouTube channel if you search for it. Uh, we actually had the printout of the, the scale weight on there. And then uh, this video that you're getting ready to see, I'll show you some of the stuff that we've removed since then. But there are there have been a few additions. You know, we got rid of all those batteries before, the lead acid batteries. But then now we have the solar panels, which are a little bit heavier. Overall, that is less weight. Uh, we have a new cabinet in there that we added, an extra base cabinet, like a kitchen cabinet. There's an extra dresser in there. We changed our couch to a different couch that was a little bit heavier than the old one. But I've removed a bunch of items that you'll see in the video here today too. So, very curious to see what he's gonna weigh. Um, and again, if you guess, whoever's the closest to the number, uh, and if it's a tie, we're like, you know, somebody's one over and somebody's one under, we're gonna go with the person on the underweight. And don't guess the same guess as someone else because it'll be the first person that enters that weight will win. Uh, so we'll go in the chronological order and hopefully that'll either be tomorrow or Tuesday that we'll get him weighed. I'm removing stuff from the bus that if I haven't used it in a year, um, and this, I haven't actually had it a year. I've had it for probably five months. I thought it'd be something I use a lot. And it is just a 50 pound weight that is doing nothing. My trailer hitch is low to the ground. So if you use it, it's really low. So if you don't use it on the trailer hitch, then it's a pain in the butt. And I get so annoyed, everybody. Oh, you need a trailer hitch mount advice. You need a trailer hitch mount advice. I've heard it so many times. Um, I have one and it's a pain in the butt to use it. I'm so annoyed by people telling me they have one that I actually put the word vice in the restricted words list on our channel. So if you try to tell me that I need a vice now, it doesn't even show up on our page. Um, that's how crazy it is. So I'm getting rid of this thing. So in the future, don't tell me I need one because I've had one and I don't use it. Uh, it is not that handy to have. Um, and for the extra weight, I don't need it. There's some more weight I'm removing. Uh, an old backup power inverter that I needed every once in a while. And it came in handy a few times. Uh, and then a battery charger. I think, think 100 amps. I don't remember though. Yeah, 100. Um, I used to charge the 12 volt batteries with that when we were plugged in, but I don't need it anymore. Every little bit helps. There's about 10 pounds of copper there. Oh, this pair of pliers probably weighs five pounds. They're pretty big. <laughs> Every little bit's gonna add up. So on these silver sides bay doors, if they're really hard to open, what happens is the grease turns into like glue in here. So you just gotta take it apart and clean it really well. Um, and then it should open and close pretty easy. You have to take the four screws out of the other side and these little rubber boots have to come off the end because they hook over that right there. But I'll get this cleaned up here and this should be good to go in just a little bit. I just quickly went through the one tool box. That's all stuff I have duplicates of or didn't need. So, I mean, every little bit helps. That might be 20 pounds of tools there. Still in the fresh water tank. Last year, my CB antenna broke off of that mount. I have it, it was held on by the wire, but I was actually gonna fix it, but Kelly hates the CB. She can't stand the noise of it. And so I'm actually just gonna, for weight purposes, just remove it. I don't really use it anymore anyways. Uh, if we wanna, you know, we used to get our traffic from that and you know, ask the truckers what lane to be in for backups and stuff like that, but now our phones really give us all that information. So I'm gonna remove it. Super clean, sent us out a little care package here. Hat and shirt, and then uh, a bunch of their products to try out. This is something brand new. This, uh, it's only been in AutoZone, I think she, Jessica said for a couple weeks, floor absorbent, and then uh, the foaming scrubbing degreaser. It's just another, it's a spray can degreaser. Same that had a green on it, but it looks really different. And a wheel cleaner. So, little care package, we're gonna try them out. We don't really have a spot here today, but I'm sure that during our trip here, we're gonna, we'll be using this stuff. Thanks, Super Clean. 
So I got quite a bit of grease, dirt, and oil on the back here. You gotta be careful about this stuff on aluminum. That's one of the warnings on it, not to leave it on aluminum prolonged. But uh, I'm gonna spray it on here and see if it, how it eats this up. Lenny's always such a mess back here. Look at that very bottom. It's really dirty. Yeah, it's eating right off here. Good. I just gotta get it off before it turns the aluminum color. I was just wiping it with a rag off of there. You can see where we did and didn't do. It, it can't. It really cut the grease pretty good on the bottom. Once you let it sit there for a few seconds, it wipes right off. Before we left Wands, I noticed that we had a belt missing, and this belt was severely worn. Um, I've always had some problems with those pulleys back there for that. So just to show you what it's originally looked like and what it looked like now. So I had two spares that I put on down there in Gilbert, Arizona before we left and they're still pretty tight on there. Um, I'm gonna wait till I get to warmer weather and I've got two brand new ones here because it takes two belts. Uh, this is for the fan hub. But uh, that is the same model number. That's exactly what this used to be. You can just see how much it's worn over time. This was another box of just extra parts and wires and stuff that I removed and then the CB radio. Uh, some spare fuel injectors that I never really used. Uh, so it's not stuff I'm getting rid of but just stuff I pulled off the bus for weight. So I think every little bit's gonna help. So to save even more weight I'm removing the iMac. We use our laptop for almost everything anyways. I can just use that. That's gonna save about I'm probably saving about 50 pounds here by taking out the computer and then the battery uh, USB or U, is that what it's called? The battery backup battery that goes, yeah, UPS um, that goes to it. And then uh, the microphone and all the accessories for the audio because I can just use the microphone that's on the camera. Uh, so anyways, yeah, that's saving some weight there too. So we're making progress. I also programmed for uh, Alexa, lights off. Okay. I broke this one inch snap-on deep well socket when I was down at Wands. It's an old one too. Um, and then I, afterwards I used a Harbor Freight one and didn't break it and got the nut off. So people always talk about how great snap-on is. And I guarantee if I would have broke a Harbor Freight one, I would have had it replaced by now. I gotta wait to try and track down a snap-on guy, which is not gonna be easy. I did a little bit of work on the bus today, not just cleaning stuff out. Uh, I tightened up the water manifold uh, bolts on the back of the head and also did uh, a couple hose clamps that were on there, tightened, snugged them up just a little bit. Checked all the fluids, added a little bit of coolant because I had been leaking a little coolant. Um, I have a new one of these to replace this. Stan gave me one, but these are seized, so I need to get the torch on them and see if I can get them to come out. Flathead screws, of course, all rusted in there. But it'll be nice to have the new reflector in there. I don't know if there's any legalities on that. Probably are. <laughs> um, just went through and got stuff straightened out in the bays. Everything's organized nice now. Got a little more room in there. Got rid of a bunch of extra stuff. About another 25 pounds of nuts and bolts that I don't use, I got rid of. Um, yeah, the inside got a lot of stuff taken out of there, but now I have that one wheel in there too, which weighs about, a, I don't know what it is, probably 60, 70 pounds. <laughs> it's not light. Uh, I fixed, I had a couple leaks on the windshield. Um, where water would, in heavy rain, it would kind of drip in a little bit, and I worked on sealing that up. Um, I sealed up the holes over here where I took down that radio antenna. 
this window had been getting some leaks from the inside, but it was coming from above the window. So up on the top, there's like an air vent up there. So I sealed that up real good again today. I'm thinking maybe it was coming through that air vent and then running down along under the ceiling. I've got some of that foam foil. I think maybe the water was just running on that and then coming out above the window. And then I did have a window leak. If we were parked, leaned a little bit to the right and it rained, this window over here would leak. So I ran some silicone around it. It was somewhere in this area between these two windows. I wasn't sure which one it was. So I ran some silicone. Hopefully that'll stop water from being able to penetrate in there. Uh, the seals are really bad that are originally here. This, this one's here. This one's missing most of its seal. But the silicone should stop that out, hopefully. Um, it doesn't leak around the slider part, so yeah, I don't know what was going on there. So we're getting close to hitting the road, and we'll be on the road for probably two months.